uh, cobalt two chloride, when it's actually uh, when it's actually exposed to the air, uh, it actually turns pink. Now, this, the problem with this is that it's great on camera. I must say, it's probably a lot clearer than uh, than than uh, I had anticipated, especially when you have a book like that. Uh, but the problem is that you need to be able to show it in the lab. So. What I'm going to show you in the next clip is something that I've just come up with uh, to to help bring up the, uh, the 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 blueness of the anhydrous version. Remember, this one is hydrated, uh, but the anhydrous is actually quite a clever one to, to to showcase in a second. I'll show you. It's relatively safe, safe to have. And the great thing about using a hot plate is that if you're a teacher, you should gather around the class as well. Um, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot less restrictive than using a, uh, a, a Bunsen burner. And the limitation is that the pink color may not be uh, visible. The blue is, but definitely the pink. Now, when you're teaching, uh, if you're teaching this, uh, even if you're not, even if you're not teaching, if you're a student watching this, it's fantastic. Uh, these are misconceptions that you've got to ensure you don't have. So, please don't confuse this with uh, litmus paper. This is cobalt two chloride. Uh, it's it uh, will be triggered off by water. The, the 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 pH of the solution is irrelevant. It's actually water that triggers off uh, a subsequent colour change and. The other thing that you've also got to realise is that this doesn't tell you uh, this doesn't tell you if you've got pure water. It actually uh, highlights the presence the presence of water. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move uh, one of these over to a white tile. I've got a white tile over here. Okay, 